Okay, y'all, so to start out, I'm going to be using this white makeup crayon, and I'm just going to outline how far out I want the mouth to go. So for this Joker look, I decided to try a Chelsea mouth instead of the normal Joker mouth that's just the scars. And if you don't know what a Chelsea mouth is, it's basically like the really bloody cut open mouth. Um, it, you use a lot of special effects makeup for it. So once I drew out the mouth, I'm going to go ahead and use liquid latex. And then I'm going to use a really thin layer of tissue paper, just kind of like your nose tissue or whatever. Um, place that over it and then layer the liquid latex over that again. And I'm going to keep repeating this step. Now, if you ever do this, I will say if this is your first time using liquid latex, it's very, very strong. So just kind of make sure that you're in a very ventilated area because... If you're doing this on your face, it's going to go straight up your nose. And it's the strongest smell, which is why my face is so scrunched up when I do this. Because the smell is, it's a lot. It's not unbearable, but it is a lot. So, I'm just going to keep layering the liquid latex and the tissue paper until I get the desired thickness of the mouth that I want. Um, because you can do this as thick as you want or as thin as you want. And I kind of wanted to do a, a thicker mouth just because... I was using different examples and looking at different examples so once I got the desired thickness I'm just gonna go ahead and let that dry it takes like two minutes and once that's dry I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting open the mouth and I use a makeup brush to kind of stretch it out a little bit so that I'm actually able to cut it so when I'm cutting it I just use an eyebrow razor it was easier for me to do that and then I just cut off the extra so it's really customizable and you really have to kind of know what you're kind of going for but if you don't then you can always change it so once I got both sides cut out I'm going to go in with some red makeup paint and I'm just going to go ahead and paint the inside of the mouth and then I'm going to go over top of that with brown just to kind of get that real blood color before I go in with the blood gel so after um so after painting over the mouth I'm going to go ahead and start painting my face with the white face paint now because I'm doing a joker inspired look and I'm doing the Heath Ledger joker I'm doing this really really messy I don't want it to look amazing and I, I want it to just look really messy really kind of all over the place because that's how his is and that's why I'm kind of scrunching up my face as I paint but because I have this sewing in the whole scrunch up the face and trying to get the forehead lines like Heath Ledger did in the Joker it was not working out so I just went ahead and um, painted my entire face white and then went over the eyes with the black face paint um, again, just doing this really, really messy because the Heath Ledger Joker was a very unput together Joker. So I'm not trying to make it look neat or anything like that. Um, so once I go over my eyes with the black um, face paint, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the mouth and start using that blood gel, which is more of a thick gel. It kind of has clumps in it. And I will say this is really, 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 really messy. So if you guys ever use like blood gel, it's really messy. And I'm lying. I actually kind of went back over the face and cleaned it up a little bit and added more face paint um, before I went back to my mouth. However, um, I'm about to go back to my mouth right after this. So now I'm just using the blood gel and this one actually clumps up a little bit. So if you can tell, it actually has clumps of not real blood, obviously, but like it looks more realistic so I'm just going ahead and putting that all over the mouth and just trying to make it as realistic as possible then I go in with the vampire blood and I do little droplets of blood um, and the vampire blood was extremely messy it was way worse than the other one so once I finish the mouth I'm gonna go back to the eyes I do a lot of back and forth in this so sorry but I go back to the eyes and I use a black eyeshadow to kind of really deepen that, um, to really deepen the, the face paint. Because the face paint is a cream paint so um, you can see 
the creases so I just went over it with the black eyeshadow and then um, I put on a black eyeliner mascara and this is kind of what the final look looks like um, I went ahead and used my red Fenty um, gloss bomb or whatever it's called the red Fenty lipstick and went over that and then I just kind of added some finishing touches to the mouth to, to kind of make it look a little bit more realistic um, this is my first time doing any like special effects and using the liquid latex so it wasn't perfect but it did come out pretty good and this is basically the final look I really kind of liked the darkness and using the color so yeah this is the final look so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one